Hey, welcome to Geekdom. I'm Don. Uh, today what I'm going to go over is uh, something I've ran into a few times, and that's uh, in Oracle VirtualBox. Uh, I set up a Debian, Debian uh, Linux box, and uh, I go to install the, uh, the guest add-ons, um, the, the Oracle equivalent of uh, VMware tools, um, and I get errors. So what I'm going to do is uh, walk you through how to manually uh, go through and do that. So the first thing you want to do is boot up your VM, go ahead and log into it. Now one of the reasons you want to install this is, see as I'm, I'm changing the screen, the, the desktop there isn't automatically resizing. So one of the first things we're going to do is you always want to do an update make sure you're on the latest and greatest. Put in your super secret password and here's one of the first problems we run into. Right out of the gate base install your account is not part of the the sudoers. Real simple to fix. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in as root su and that's going to be the password you set up when you installed the operating system. Next we're going to do a slash sbin slash user mod dash lowercase a uppercase g sudo nope come on and then the user. The reason we're doing the sbin is the, the root doesn't have all the paths in its, uh, in its file. Now we're going to do a sbin reboot just so those changes take effect. Give it a minute here to reboot. Okay, let's go ahead and log back in. Oh, get out of here, we don't want that. Let's go ahead and go to Devices and click on the uh, Guest Editions so we can go ahead and mount that drive. Now you may or may not get an error here. Uh, it just seems it depends on the install. Uh, so let's go ahead and fire up Terminal again. Let's go ahead and do that update that we originally started to do. Password. And boom. We're updating. So next we're going to install a package and I will put the link to this in the description or not the link the uh, I will put this command in the description um, but basically we're, we're installing some add-ons Okay, I'm gonna. Oh well, I was gonna pause it here and wait, but it looks like we're almost done. Okay, once it's actually finished, I'll put the timestamp. In, in the description below where you can skip forward to. Okay. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to make a directory. A mount point. And again, all these commands will be in the bottom, but next we're going to mount the CD-ROM to that mount point we just created. 
Okay, perfectly fine. It's a it's an ISO, an ISO. So we're not going to be able to write to it. Now we want to change directory to that CD-ROM. And here we want to run the uh, VBox Linux editions dot run. So do a sudo sh uh, period forward slash and then VBox Linux editions dot run dash dash Nox 11. Nox 11 just tells terminal. Uh, okay. Just trying to see where I mistyped. Oh. Thank God for the up button. So once you actually type the command in correctly, um, the the Nox 11 just tells a terminal to spawn an X term session for this. And this should just take a few seconds here. Or again, I'll put in the description where you fast forward to to skip. Some of you out there are probably saying, oh, why don't you edit this out? Well, I'm not great shakes at editing software, so maybe one of my fellow geeksers out there can, uh, can lend me some tutelage. Okay. So now it's done, we need to go ahead and do a restart, <clears throat> I'm sorry, a reboot, so sudo reboot. Now the reason we don't have to do the sbin on our regular user account is it already has all those in its, uh, its search directories. Alrighty, let's log back in. Type the right username. I'm horrible at, at mistyping. Fat fingering, side fingering. And this may take a few seconds here because the, the OS is actually um, adjusting to all the, the drivers and everything that we just installed. Oh, there we go. So now, one of the, the obvious things that's going to happen is now the screen's resizing as we're doing it. So um, we also want to go and make sure that we uh, unmount this drive. Uh, optical drive. Remove. Yep. Yep. Force mount. That's fine. We don't care. So that's it. That's... Uh, in a nutshell how to get through it um hope you guys like this hope you found something uh something out of it if you did please consider hitting that like and subscribe button um please in the comments anything you want to see anything I, I can explain more please let me know um let me know what videos you guys want so i know that my my fellow i'm not the lone geek out there let's say um but i will catch you guys next time